617 News at 6 starts right now. He recruited a fake candidate to run against him, then switched parties at the last minute to run as a Republican. But it wasn't a crime. That's according to the Kent County prosecutor tonight, who's cleared longtime Representative Roy Schmidt of any wrongdoing in the race for the 76th district here in Grand Rapids. 517 Janice Allen in our newsroom with the very latest on that report. Janice. that Representative Schmidt offered that fake candidate hundreds of dollars to enter the race, and that he also conspired with the House Speaker of the House, Jace Bolger, to pull the whole thing off. Their conversations were all captured via text message. There are a bunch of exchanges from back on May 14th. Take a look at some of those text messages. First one from the Speaker says, can they get the paperwork to you and you get it to me so we can get it in our hands, show the GP GOP that we are all set, and then we will file tomorrow. Schmidt replies for the Democratic candidate, yes. Speaker goes on to say exactly for the Dem candidate. We already have the paperwork for our R candidate. Schmidt replies, I know I am so nervous at this point, just want it to go perfect. Speaker replies to that by saying, me too. I don't like leaving anything to chance, thus my anxiousness to get this last piece wrapped up. All will then be perfect. A later message from the speaker says, is Matthew the same as you had before? He has to be able to say he's been living at the address in the district for 30 days before filing deadline. Schmidt replies, no, this is a a new one and he has those text messages of course referring to 22 year old Matt Mojack he's a part-time college student and GNC employee who was approached by Smith's son Ryan to run for four hundred and fifty dollars it was seemingly to run against his dad a longtime Democrat for the 76th district but you may remember at the last minute representative Schmidt then switched parties to run as a Republican Mojack later withdrew from the race according to the report filed by Kent County prosecutor William Forsyth all three men met up at the Secretary of State to switch Mojack's address and his voter registration to meet the requirements to run. The report outlines how Representative Schmidt then took all of that paperwork to Lansing, handing it over to the Deputy Chief of Staff for the Speaker of the House, Jace Bolger. That employee then filed Mojack's paperwork in Kent County. And then get this, 10 minutes later, he also filed Smith's paperwork to change parties and get on the ballot as a Republican. Now, despite all of this, Forsyth decided not to file any criminal charges, saying that Mojack was clearly duped into doing this and is the least guilty one of everybody involved. Wow. I guess to me this is a perfect example of just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Uh, I'm offended by what they did here. To me, they, they undermined... Uh, the very concept that this country is all about, and that is free elections. I mean, they, they tried to recruit a kid to run for a, a job that he had no interest in, offered to give him some money if he would do it, told him once he got onto the ballot he wasn't going to have to campaign, ostensibly he was going to get on there just to be in a name only, and he was going to lose. Now, there could still be charges for violating the state's campaign finance laws since Smith held, held a fundraiser as a Democrat when he'd already filled out all the paperwork to file as a Republican. He also reportedly planned to use money from his campaign account to pay off both Mojek and his son for their roles in the whole thing. We do have a crew working on this story. We'll bring you the very latest coming up tonight at 10. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Janice Allen, Fox 17 News. All right, Janice, thanks for that. And now to our other big story, the heat. Everybody looking for ways to cool off as this dry heat continues used to cook West Michigan. Box 17's Rick Mecklenburg here now with an early look at our forecast. And boy, it is hot out there. We had another record high today. In fact, it was so hot today that we...